Hey, Kevin here from thesportsgeek.com, and today I just wanted to talk about the importance of line shopping. Um, if, for those of you who didn't know, each sports book comes out with their own lines. So on uh, any game that you want to bet, you're going to see different prices at different sports books. So let's look at an example here. Sports book A, we're getting the Rams plus six and a half at negative 110. Let's just say for a football game. Sportsbook B, you might be getting the Rams plus six and a half at negative 105. And at a third sports book, you might be able to get the Rams at plus six and a half at plus 110. So as you can see, there's a pretty big difference, although you might not think so, between Sportsbook A and Sportsbook C. Let me just erase this and then I'll show you the difference. Okay, so for every, at Sportsbook A, you're gonna have to risk, let's say you're $100 better, just to make things easy. You're gonna have to risk 110 to win 100 bucks. Now every time you lose, you're losing 110, and every time you win, you're winning 100 bucks. At Sportsbook C, you're gonna only have to risk 100 bucks to win 110 bucks. So every time you lose, you're losing 100 bucks. Every time you win, you're winning 110. So as you can see, win or lose, that's a difference of 10 bucks every bet. Let's say for every single bet you place throughout the year, you're gonna make a $10 difference, win or lose, by line shopping different sports books. If you're a hundred dollar better and you're placing just 100 bets per year and you're getting plus ten dollars win or lose to your bankroll just by line shopping that's going to equal one thousand dollars throughout the year difference just by line shopping now i know most betters are betting at least a hundred like a hundred would be the minimum Let's go for an extreme example. Let's say you're placing a thousand bets throughout the year. And again, you're getting $10 on every bet just by line shopping, win or lose. That's $10,000 that you would gain just by shopping the different sports books and finding the best lines. Okay, let me show you another example here. I'll, I'll get a new page up here. Just to show you guys again, let's say we're betting uh, MLB underdogs and we have the Blue Jays plus 165 at one sports book. Blue Jays plus 160 at another sports book. And the third sports book has the Blue Jays at plus 155. So you've got an account at each of these sports books. So you'd definitely obviously go with the plus 165. But let's say you didn't, you only had a, uh, an account at Sportsbook C here and you had to take the Blue, Jay, Blue Jays 155. For every time you win that bet, you're losing out on 100, let me just show you here, 100 pays 155 or 100 pays 165. So again on that example, every win, for this example it's only every win, you're losing out on 10 bucks. But let's say you hit, you bet um, let's, say if, oh, let's go with 1,000 bets again, and you hit 50%. Actually, that's unrealistic, betting the underdogs this size. Let's say you hit 400 of those 1,000 bets, and every time you hit one, you're missing out on $10 you could have got by line shopping. Over the course of the year, that is $4,000 you're missing out on just by not line shopping for the best line and only having your money in at one or maybe two sports books. I recommend when you're line shopping, the minimum you want is three sports books. Um, there's a couple different sports books I recommend having your money at because the lines usually vary. Sometimes you'll see sports books have really close lines, they kind of follow each other. Um, in the description below on YouTube and at my website, I'll, I'll give out the top three sports books I recommend you having money at. You can go as much as maybe five, six, or even seven sports books to spread out your money, but anywhere three or four should be fine these days. Anyways, I hope this video helped you realize the importance of line shopping 
And if you could like this video on YouTube or leave a comment, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks. Talk to you later.